Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. Today, we are going to be doing a Sims 4 build, and I am busy building a mixture between a bakery and a coffee shop. Um, I wanted to use this build in my Sims 4 series, and so I decided I might as well post the speed build of it. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this build. I wasn't sure that it was going to turn out really well and I was full blown ready to just ditch this idea and go with a completely different build if I had to but I'm happy with the way it turned out. I think that the decor looks really cute and it really kind of went with what I was going for. I've seen a few coffee shops in real life where instead of having normal chairs you'll kind of have like a couch or armchair and it's just a really relaxed vibe. Um, and so I kind of wanted to recreate that in The Sims. Over here I'm just busy with the outside and I'm trying to figure out how I want this to look. I was going to add in the wall columns but it looked a little bit too bulky for me so I'm going to get rid of that in a second and add in normal columns which I used a lot of them <laughs> in this build. I think at some stage I had to cut out a whole chunk where the bottom floor was basically just covered in columns. Um, and it wasn't just looking too good, so I decided we weren't going to do that anymore. Um, I also will turn the grass patch into cement to kind of go with the rest of the town square. And although I will be replacing a lot of those buildings, I'm still going to kind of stick with the theme how the floor is going to be cemented and not grassed. So I'm going to do that in this build as well. Um, because it's a coffee shop, I wanted to kind of add big windows uh, to kind of like advertise the products and you can't really see the baked goods from the windows that clearly but realistically I feel like you would be able to look into a shop and so that's why I decided to choose kind of big windows. They also really just suited the theme that I was going for and I really enjoyed using them. Over here we are about to go around the windows and we are going to add some flower pots to the bottom of the windows as well as some awnings on top of the windows. Um, I decided to do this mostly at the front windows and not really at the back windows. It just seemed like it was a little bit too much when I tried to do it all around the building. It was around this point where I decided that yellow would be a really nice color to kind of just pop um, around different places of the build. So you'll see yellow in the flowers or you'll see yellow in the awnings. And later when we add a sign to the build, then that will also kind of be a yellow tint. Um, which again I really liked because yellow is kind of like happy, sun shines, and it just kind of went with a very happy theme of the entire build. I didn't really want this build to stick out from the other buildings surrounding it so that's why I also decided to try and go with the Windenburg theme um, with this particular wallpaper and some of the items that just really seems to fit in with the rest of the neighborhood. I didn't want to make everything look too modern because I feel like that would have stuck out like a little thumb so I decided to go with this. Over here we are just working on the outside and I wanted it to be very welcoming um, but also I'm going to add a few seating areas on the outside, um, some comfy areas under the shade so I'm adding some couches and some tables but I'm also going to be adding some outside seating as well and when it comes to the outside seating I didn't add a lot, I believe I only added four, uh, possibly just three tables as you can see over here with the umbrellas um, to kind of block the sun but also to make it look a little bit more decorated I'm going to be adding trees that are in these gardening pots, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, I didn't really know what else I wanted to add to the outside. Um, I was thinking maybe I can add a fountain or maybe I can have a garden patch but by the end of the day I decided that I wanted to go more simple and that's why I just stuck with what we had and I always figured that if I wanted to add more later then I can always just go outside and revamp it a little bit but I'm quite happy with there just being a few outdoor seating areas and a few of those trees. Um, I think it just works really well being more simple on the outside because on the inside it is very busy um, and so I didn't want to overwhelm the lot if that kind of makes sense. Over here I am putting in stairs because this is a two story bakery slash cafe. Um, the stairs are going to just go straight up into additional seating area and the little area that I just walled off are going to be the bathrooms. I was thinking of doing stalls. I tend to do stalls on business lots or public lots, 
but over here I just decided to kind of do one big room where there is a bathroom and a sink in one room and you'll see that a little bit later. Over here I am just decorating the wall. I decided to go for a brick and wood theme uh, for most of the restaurants and then in the kitchen it's going to be tiled if I'm correct. Um, I wanted to go with the brick and wood theme just because I thought it really suited the build and the vibe I was going for again. One of the things that I was kind of struggling with this build is trying to really separate the different styles and I wanted it to be more cozy which I kind of relate to more old-fashioned or more traditional styles and every now and again I would put something in and it would just kind of make everything look a little bit too modern and even though it is a fairly modern build. Um, I didn't want that to be the style. Um, I think you can still have new buildings without it having a modern style. Now I do want to say that I don't really think that the bathrooms fit the style that I've been talking about for like the past five minutes. Um, I do think maybe I would change the bathrooms if I were to go back into this build. I don't know. It just doesn't really go with what I was hoping for and I was trying to make something work and I don't know at the moment I feel like that was the best that I could do. While I was busy going through the different decorations I found some pretty good ones that could go on the outside of this build. Um, a lot of it came from get to work but there is that coffee um, banner that came from get together and it is actually a clubs banner and one of the logos is a coffee cup and I think it suited the build really well. It's kind of like one of those banners you can just kind of hang up by the outside of the door and it just has like a little coffee symbol on and I really loved it and there are a lot of coffee signs everywhere um, but it works because it's a coffee shop as you can see here by the barista station. Um, I did just add in a register over there as well as these bakery display cases because later on I will actually change the lot type to a business lot um, so that you can actually make a bakery and that you can sell baked goods as well because I was really in between two minds whether to keep it as a cafe or to change it to a business lot. At the end of the day I decided to go with the business lot because I feel like if you were to go onto this lot yes a barista would spawn if it was a cafe but there wouldn't necessarily be baked goods in the display cases and that's not necessarily what I wanted. I feel like you can always hire a barista if you need to be and kind of cheat the money back to you um, if it doesn't already spawn. Um, so I thought that the baking element was more important to me in this situation. Um, here I'm just adding in some seating areas and I love that there are some areas with these comfy couches which I don't really think your sims will realistically use but that's okay. There's also some other tables um, that just fit in really well and even though those tables always feel more modern to me, the pattern I think just worked really well. Um, I don't know what else to say, those tables work really cool. And later on I'm going to put flowers on top of those tables and I'm just really hoping that that doesn't stop the sims from sitting there. Um, it will be really sad if I have to go and take off all of the flowers. I tried to find fairly small ones um, so that we wouldn't have that problem but I didn't actually play a test the entire lot. Um, at the end of the day I just kind of hoped for the best. <laughs> Another bit of contrast in this build is the couch areas on the different floors. On the lower floor I believe it's more of a white and bright colour but if you go up a layer it's more of a darker colour and I don't know I wanted to stick with the same colours throughout the restaurant but it just didn't look right if the darker lounge set was on the bottom floor and it didn't look right if the lighter lounge set was on the top floor so those two are different colours but I don't really mind um, again with the whole cozy theme I don't think that you would 100% get the exact same types of furniture everywhere so it did really work with the theme. Um, over here I'm adding a ton of plants and it's the same plant I'll give it that but for some reason it just really worked. I don't have dine out so I can't really play with restaurants in The Sims but for me this just gives kind of restaurant vibes and I love it. I loved it so much. Someday I'm, I want to get that expansion pack but as far as I know, it's still pretty broken, <laughs> which is devastating. 
Um, Because then I can't actually do restaurants in The Sims and that's kind of what I wanted this build to be is like a restaurant vibe Um, But I had to do the best with what I had and I think it turned out to be pretty awesome I did put these weird curtains um, And the curtains are mostly just at the back of the like Lounge areas on the bottom and the curtains on the top and it doesn't really make that much sense but it just looked really well which is why i decided to stick with the curtains um you can easily like look in through any other window and that's perfectly fine but i decided to put curtains in anyways so over here i think this is really cool what i did i found these chalkboards that had like little coffee cups and that really suited um the vibes of it being a coffee shop so i wanted to hang it kind of above the bar area but i didn't want to add in necessarily like an extra wall or it just to kind of be floating so i added those wall lights where it's kind of like fairy lights and i tried to attach the board to the fairy lights and i think it looks really awesome realistically i don't think those strings would hold but in this case it works really well i also decided to add a back wall that has some wall decorations mostly and i also hid a bunch of bar drinks kind of just around the corner um, so that it's offered but it's not the main attraction if that makes sense and I think having that wall at the back just really works because I kind of hid this secret cupcake factory at the back of this wall um, so that it wasn't visible from the restaurant because it was a little bit of an eyesore I'm not gonna lie I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how I can put in this cupcake factory and make it look good and so I decided to go with the separating wall and I really loved that idea of the separating wall the only issue is that it made the kitchen feel a lot smaller um, and so the actual cooking area, the baking area that I have over here was actually pretty tiny and earlier when I got in two separate sims in order to kind of work through everything they both didn't fit in the kitchen so that was a little bit disappointing but I don't know realistically if you just have one sim working I think it will work pretty well. I did go into the show hidden objects cheat after I was done this build and sadly I don't have the recording bits of it but I was kind of going through the hidden objects because I was particularly looking for a strawberry, a carrot and a lemon in order to make some pies and cakes and I ended up finding like a bunch of pots and pans so I added that to the build as well because that looked just really good and you'll see it in a moment when we go to the kitchen but I will say after a while the pots and pans start to stink. Um, so you might want to throw them away, but for the photos, it looked pretty good. You can also see baking trays over there. Um, I think it just really tied the whole build together and there's also sugar and flour um, and everything, which the sugar and flour doesn't go off, so that can kind of stay. Um, and I think overall, I'm pretty happy with this build. I think it turned out to be really cute, really amazing, and it kind of is everything that I wanted it to be. This build is up on the gallery, so if you want to download it, you are more than welcome to. Make sure that you have the move objects cheat on. Um, I think the lot should work without the cheat, but just in case, if you put that cheat on, you should be perfectly okay. Um, and if you download this from the gallery, there should already be some cakes and pies in the display stand. So that's ready for you to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!